beautiful no makeup face. How I love you. Hey guys, okay so today I'm gonna do a kind of get ready with me video. I haven't done one of these in kind of a long time. I'm not sure if I've done one since I did my Mad Men one. That was a good one. If you want to see that one, it's very old school. I'll link it down below. Um, my day is like crazy today, but I feel like, I don't think I'm going to go all out with my makeup and hair and everything, but I don't know. I just felt like doing a get ready with me video. So here we go. First off, I'm starting with a primer. This one's by Youngblood. It's just a sample I got from one of my many random sample boxes, I think. Then next up, I'm starting with my foundation. I'm using my Revlon Whipped Color Stay Foundation. I'm pretty sure that's the full proper name. I don't know, foundation names get complicated sometimes. I will put a full product list down below in the description if anything gets confusing. I'm blending that on with my Beauty Blender. Love the Beauty Blender. It's amazing and wonderful, and if you haven't tried it, you should try it. Next, I'm using my Krylon concealers from my concealer palette thing that I got at iMats, and I'm using my Beauty Blender again, and I'm kind of just mixing the colors together, and I'm using more of the pink tone one for my under eyes. My under eyes are especially bad in this video. I don't really know what was going on. I Actually, I do. I was crying the night before, so they were ultra puffy. It's not that they're super discolored, it's just they were extra bad bag in and you can't really cover that up you can brighten it up but I don't know there was some purpleness going on I did what I could go me and now I'm just moving away from the eye area and trying to touch up any other areas with remaining redness around my face next I use my Ket setting powder mainly just on the places where I use my concealer but also kind of everywhere else a little bit you know what I mean here I'm using my Bare Minerals Well Rested Powder, and I'm just using that to brighten up the eye area. Like I said, I really needed it. Next I'm using some bronzer. I love bronzer. That's why I use bronzer. And this one is by The Balm. Yes, cover yourself up. And it is more matte, so I kind of use it in the places where I would normally contour, but it's a bronzer. Then I go in with even more bronzer, and this one's Physician's Formula, and that was hard to say. This one has a little tiny bit of sparkle, so I guess I just use that one all over. I don't know. No excuses. Project Hydration. Oh yeah. Next I'm using blush. I don't know if there's anything special about the way I do my blush. I don't really think there's anything special about it. I'm sure everybody does it just the same. Maybe not. I don't know. That's how I do it. And I'm pretty sure the Home Alone face signifies that I am done with my face makeup and my lips looked weird so I freaked out about it. And now I'm taking my hair out of my little turban and I'm brushing it out with my Tangle Teaser because it's usually really tangly because it's really long and it's wet and yeah, it's hard to deal with. I've got a hard life and long hair. They go hand in hand. Now with my hair out of the way, I am attacking my crazy snuffle up against straight eyelashes with the curlers and getting them ready to put on a little bit of mascara. I'm using a tiny coat of waterproof mascara just to keep my super crazy straight lashes a little bit curled. I go on and use regular mascara after this, but this coat helps a lot with keeping them curled. Now I'm using my Rimmel Scandalize Liner in Nude to brighten up my bottom waterline, and then I'm using my brow pencil just to darken and define my brow and kind of make it look a little bit more arched and awesome. I have a whole brow tutorial. I'll link that down below if you want more details on the brow process. Next, I'm using a black liner pencil to poke out my eye. Just kidding, I'm tight lining it and also making big mistakes, but don't tell anybody. Next, I'm using a Maybelline Color Tattoo Cream Shadow as a base, and I'm just kind of tapping that all over my lid. Next, I'm using a Wet n Wild Single. It's an off-white matte color called Brulee, and I'm using that to highlight my brow bone. Next, I'm using Betty Lumanizer on my inner corners to highlight more. And just in case you didn't notice how baggy my eyes were, 
and there you go. Now I'm using this color by Wet n Wild. It is called Nutty and it's a very strange amazing color. It's kind of a taupe but it's also kind of like iridescent. I'm not really sure if you can tell but it's pretty awesome. Now I'm using this dark matte Maybelline color that I've loved forever and I'm just using it in the outer corner just to kind of like define the eye a little bit more because I just went all over the lid with the Wet n Wild color. Now I'm busting out one of my favorite palettes at the moment to use this blending color that I love so much. It's kind of a pinky tone and I'm here I'm having some issues with my brush. I think it's a hair. You heard me about the hard life and the long hair. Da 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 da. And then I'm just blending blending. It helps a lot. I'm going back to that dark Maybelline shade just a little bit just to darken it up again. Next I'm using a little liquid liner. My love. My life. Uh, this one is by The Balm. I think it's called Schwing pretty interesting. And I'm just winging it out like I always do. Typical me. Here's one eye done and here's me messing up on the other one. Classy moves all around. And yeah, cleaning up the wreckage. It's a beautiful process. Now I'm using my Rimmel Scandalize pencil in taupe under my lower lash line and I'm just going about halfway in. Now I'm finishing up my brows with some of my brow powder by Wet n Wild. Again, go watch the brow video if you want more details about this. Oh yeah, just opening my brow gel with my teeth. No big deal. And now it's time for a little bit more mascara, of course. Now I'm going to use a little bit of this Tresemme mousse and I'm going to dry my hair. Done already. That was quick, huh? Yeah. Looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm using a little bit of heat protectant. I wouldn't totally suggest this one. It kind of sprays really weird, but okay, so now I'm just parting my hair and splitting it off and getting ready to tease the living life out of it. Living life? I don't know. I don't know what I meant by that. But anyway, I'm just teasing it and it's really not all that violent, but you guys know I live in Texas. I like some big hair. I like my hair nice and big and this is how I do it. I like it. Do you like it? I hope you like it. And then I'm just using a clip to section it off. And then away I go, curling my hair away from my face in semi-small sections. I don't know. I don't really over-calculate it at all. Now I'm moving on to the top part. This part is very calculated. Moving the bottom to the back and the top to the front. Voila! It's magic. And I'm just continuing on with the semi-small sections. It's not very hard and I kind of just go with whatever happens. I'm sure you know the drill by now. It is what it is. And I'm done. Yeah, so my hair is just kind of like bouncy curly all over the place. And I need a little hairspray to hold it because Houston, Texas is crazy humid. And you can't keep any kind of hairstyle for any length of time, even if you really wanted to. So, you know, every little bit helps. Here, I'm just kind of poking it and prodding it. It looks like I'm kind of just stabbing my head. But I'm trying to get a little bit more volume up there. And yeah pretty much done except I'm going to kind of pin it back with a bobby pin like I always do because I just can't stand my hair in my face I don't know why I know it was cute before I pinned it up but I don't know I'm just addicted to wearing my hair as if I'm growing out my bangs and I'm seven years old I can't help it it is what it is again Okay, so this is just me trying to be all cute and stuff and show you the finished product. My tunic is from Zara. I got it a really long time ago, but I really still love it. It's really long to just be a shirt, but it's definitely too short to pass as a dress, so I wear shorts under it. My shorts are from American Eagle, and my necklace is from Nordstrom Rack. If you watched the haul, you saw it in the haul. It's by Lucky Brand, and yeah, just getting down over there. Oh, one more thing. I needed perfume, and this is Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. And I'm done for real this time. All right, so I'm all ready to go. Um, I really did not know what direction I was going in with like my makeup and my hair or anything or even my outfit. So um, it is what it is and this is what happened. But I did work out my plans through filming this video by way of text message. I am definitely, well, I decided this part, I need to go grocery shopping. Yes, this makeup is going grocery shopping. And I also am going to meet up with my friend after he gets back from his track meet. So, yay! You can check out the um, massive, crazy product list down below, and I, hopefully I'll have everything included and answer most of your questions there. But if you have more questions or comments or concerns, 
patterns or something, you can comment down below and I love to hear from you guys. You can also hit me up on Facebook or Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, or wherever the places like that. I don't know, that's where I am. It's it's Leanne Says and you can find the links down below. Really easy to find and definitely subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. I got this circle scarf and it's kind of like a multi-animal print kind of situation. It's a lot of leopard. I'm into leopard. I feel like this is kind of neutral. I know other people do not agree with me, but I kind of think like animal print is always on trend. It's always good, but I'm pretty sure I think that because that's what my mom thinks. So obviously,